Shelter is an adventure and survival game. Interesting. But does it do you also follow a main storyline? What's up? What's up? What's down? What is this? Is this where we hatched? What is this? Side quest the birth room? Sure. You're here to help. Sure. It's a nice break from the flowers. Good, it's easy. Just feed the larvae. Be feed quick, the larvae. Always hungry. Make sure to choose the right food. Oh god. Future queens are fed with bee milk and the rest just get the honey. Chop chop. It's time management. It. There's okay. Okay, this is horrible. Uh Green for green, blue for blue, remember? Okay, this is horrible. There's no room! Feed as many bees as you can. Well, I fed one. Isn't that enough? Apparently not. Oh god, this is... this sucks. Why did I do this? Man, this is horrible. Or can I just feed the exact same bee over and over again? I don't know. I did six. Seven. Seven should be enough. Shit, I picked up blue. Didn't want to pick up blue. Time out. Number of larvae fed correctly, seven. Did I win anything? Of course not. Come back again? Feed the bees again? I don't. Uh, there's no talking, but there's definitely a story. I like that, though. I like... A few... Um, the thing that pops up to mind is... Kind of a walking simulator adventure game called Virginia. Which is uh, about a female detective... And she's investigating some things, but there's other weird things going on. There is a main storyline. Basically, the game is pretty linear. There's no talking in it, but there's work to do, right? an amazing storyline. Oh, look at those lazy bees. They never stop gossiping. They never stop they gossiping. I wonder what's up. Yeah, I will go there in a bit. Uh, if you buy the game on Steam, it's still 15 euros. You don't know my budget, but I buy my games on Enaba. Where it is 350, so the cracks go shit, not really as part of that. Yeah, you don't have a lot of money. I get that. It's like um, there's several of those sites. Hey, I heard another scout went missing. It's another scout went missing. She was. Oh, a frog. It's terrible. Scouting is so dangerous, and we've lost so many in the Hornet attack too. I do have a YouTube channel. There are enough scouts to do their job. Which is why uh should check the amusement park. Which is why <laughs> that message pops up it's eventually. Dangerous, <laughs> but there are bound to be good hive spots there. <laughs> Maybe I can help. I should ask the queen. We should ask the queen. Offer your help to the Queen. Uh, yes, I do. And basically, that's my main thing, uh, YouTube. I've, I've been doing it for a couple of years. I played a lot of games. I did. I I sure did. <laughs> I sure did. If you uh, if you look at all the, the playlists, yeah, there's, there's plenty of them. Um, and everything that is... That I'm streaming... Even the, the thing right now is... It's going on YouTube eventually. But I did start. I've heard we've lost another scout. Is it true? Well, let's wait out this conversation. Unfortunately, yes. This has been a difficult season for us. Please, mother, let me help. I will go and check this place called the amusement park. Oh, I like amusement parks. No. What? But no. Why? I could help. 
The amusement park? It is a place far too dangerous for a youngling like you. Oh, come on. That's not true. Besides, you have your own work to do. You must collect pollen for us. Of course. I shall do as you order, my queen. Sure. Well, let's go outside and collect more pollen. Do I edit them too or just upload the full streams? Um, well, the reason I started streaming... Any bee can collect pollen. I wish I could do something more important. Fly outside. Okay, so we're gonna rebel. Uh, the reason why I started streaming a couple of weeks ago was... A couple of reasons. Um, I've... Well, this is... <laughs> okay, this is becoming dark real quickly. Um, I've been in a depression for a couple of months. And I needed something to distract myself from and things. I'm and I was... I'm almost two weeks old. And I also... Uh, I mean, I've been doing YouTube f for that same reason-ish. For quite some time already. But I wanted... Uh, an easier reason to record my PS4 games without using any setup that I needed to do for uh, capturing and stuff like that. So, B, shut up. Um, so I figured that if I can, I, I'm using the uh, the built-in capture thingy that PS4 offers, and you can directly stream from your console to Twitch. And uh, so, I know, I know Alice, yes, a whole week. Um, and Twitch has this integration where you can just, you know, put down a highlight and... Uh, so I will answer your question in a bit where you can put an outlet and you can download those things so the only downside oh, is you that I, some pollen here? I do well he's, you're you asking sorry, nicely I'm what? Going to make you leave. that bee was asking oh my god that bee was asking so nicely don't be so selfish honey bee I'll fight you if I have to I know um so I figured that no I, I was about to say the only downside is that uh, normally i record my my commentary in a in a separate sound layer so i can m m minimally edit those things i can audio balance so a lot of my uh, the games that i played i've i've played on separate audio tracks i can also do that with my playstation games but then i have to record my audio on on my computer and play the game uh, using the capture, the built-in capture thing on the PS4. Uh, then I have to download those because I can save them on the PS4. I have to download those to a USB stick, which takes a lot of time because it's not that fast. Then I have to upload it to my computer. Then I have to edit them. I have to sync the audio files. I can audio balance and it will sound amazingly and great. Okay, okay. That's not happening right now. Right now, it's just I have my headset on. I'm using my headset. My my voice isn't the best as it can be. Um, but it's so easy to just stream and then eventually download. The, the, the other thing is that it's only 720p, uh, but 60 frames, if I'm correct. And then whatever compression Twitch put on it, I have no idea. But the easy thing is I can just download it. I'll make sure that my commentary is heard. So I lower the game volume. Um, and then I just highlight the bits that I... Well, not highlight the bits because, yes, basically the videos are unedited. But I make sure that they're episodic. So right now I've already put down a stream marker here, which I can turn into a highlight. Um, so this will probably be one stream, two episodes, maybe three episodes. Depends on how long I want to collect 10 common pollen, okay? How long I want to stream. 
So I end up with episodes in between, I don't know, 40 to 40 minutes to 60 minutes, something like that. Depending on whenever I uh, reach an end of an episode, which is when we when we finish the chapter, I put down a stream marker and that's the end of an episode. And now we're in a new one. So do I edit them if I record on my computer? Yes, I will still record with using a separate audio track so I can balance that out. But for my PS4 games, this is way too easy. And like you said, you don't bother about the audio thingy or the... You just don't talk during cutscenes so I can put them higher if needed. That... I don't even do that. <laughs> I don't even do that anymore. But yeah. Uh... What I usually do when I do audio balance is that I auto duck the gameplay so it lowers itself or the software makes it that it lowers itself when, when my commentary comes up. Uh, but I also do not talk during cutscenes or when or I try to when there's something uh, interesting being said, which is why I shut up whenever a voice is heard in the game. Wow, I have so much pollen. Like that. Before I gather more, I have to take this stuff back to the hive. But I, I did lower my standards somewhat because it's I, I, I want to enjoy doing this, and I want to. There's to be honest, I have like more than a thousand games waiting for me in my backlog. And um, oh, I need to go outside. No, I need to drop off my pollen. What am I doing? There, drop off pollen. We get knowledge points. What was I talking about? Lowering standards. To a certain degree. Exactly. And I also used to just pop out episodes whenever they were ready. And I recently decided that I can just even... Uh, when I'm streaming, I can just play the game. Finish the game. Make sure the game is finished. Quote, unquote, edit the episodes. Which means uh, putting in my, my intro pop and, and my outro thing. My card thing. And... Um, If the entire game is finished and uploaded, then I will schedule them in for release. That's basically it. So right now, what's being released on the channel, YouTube, is Titan Quest. Sure, start the side quest. Eat. Hey, what's wrong? Where's your queen? Qu queen? Your mommy, silly. Where is she? My mommy is gone. I want my mommy. Oh, that's a squirrel. Oh, well, don't cry. I'll see if I can find your mommy. What's your name? Chico. My name is Chico. All right, look around for other squirrels. I think there's one there. There's several there. You do edit your videos at least a bit, like cut out all the boring parts, try to keep the videos between 15 to 30 minutes. No crazy edits anymore, it just takes too long for like 40 views max for my channel. I, I feel you. I did that too, I even did compilation videos. Um, you should look up Poofy Fun Times if you have the time. Uh, those are the... When I played with friends, those were just funny bits that, that we recorded and it's, it's just heavily edited. Um, it takes so much time and energy. I I couldn't do that anymore. And you upload when you feel like not more than two a day, usually one a month. That's quite a difference. Hello, I'm looking for Chico's mommy. A bee? Uh, are you an agent of the Queen? Talk. What? Um, really all secret squirrel? for the Queen, but. Ha! I knew it. You be scant fool me. Secret squirrel? Hmm, I guess that's a no. Isn't that a cartoon? <laughs> Isn't that <laughs> secret squirrel? That's a cartoon, right? I uh, I do one upload a day. Uh, I can do more, but it harms the channel if Hello? I do. Are you Chico's mommy? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know any of Chico. Oh, well. Sandy the Squirrel? That's Spongebob. Spongebob Squirrel. Yeah, you do upload funny stream moments from time to time. That is more added work. Yeah, I I know exactly 
what you mean. And I, I honestly, I, I lost um, any motivation to do that. I don't suppose you're Chico's mommy. Oh no! But I sure wish I was a mommy. Penny, the squirrel. You I haven't don't... seen him around, have you? Him who? It's a secret. I don't get that reference. Squirrel? Yes, that's him. Him who? Him? Uh, I'll keep looking, thanks. We found a secret squirrel. You think you destroyed your regular views by uploading too many shorts? Oh, really? That is... Because... What I have heard is that shorts... No, that makes sense, what you're saying. Excuse me, are you Chico's mommy? Hey, you're talking to me, B? <laughs> talking to me? No mommy, no bugger. I'm walking here! Huh, how rude. How rude. Um... Yeah, which is, I think that's the same, same reason why, uh... Uploading multiple videos can destroy your, your viewership. It's a fine balance between spreading out your material and and not be annoying to those that want to watch your videos. You have 105 subs, you only have two views, and five on the one before that, and that's two months ago. Well, I have around 627 subs, I, I think. Let me check real quickly. Yeah, 627. And uh, the video that I uploaded yesterday only has five views, so I'm not definitely not doing it for the views. I'm actually currently what the fuck? Excuse me, I'm trying to find Chico's mommy. That's not me. I'm cat. Hi, cat. Huh? You're a cat? No, I'm a squirrel. I'm cat. Sheesh. These squirrels are all nuts. <laughs> they are nuts. <laughs> I think it's more like the people before the shorts unsubbed. The people that subbed to me because of the shorts only watch those. Yeah. Yeah. That is... Um, that's the thing. Uh, it's it's similar to... Because I play all kind of different... Well, I do tend to focus on adventure games. But I started out doing obscure and indie games. Um, and those gained more views than the kinds that I, that, that, the type of games that I play right now, but I enjoy the games that I play right now more. These type of adventure games, it could be anything. Action, adventure, RPG, whatever. As long as there's some sort of adventure vibe going on, I, I mean, I play Wario Land, I play, I want to play Link's Awakening, uh, the original one for the Game Boy, but I also play uh, Far Cry currently, and B Simulator, of all freaking things. Uh, also played Sniper Elite, so anything with a storyline is um, something that I want to play. And now I want to play Shelter. I do. I've got to put that on my list exactly. Uh, you're going to stop the shorts, just build it. I would recommend that, and that's the advice. Hello, I'm trying to find Chico's mommy. Advice that anyone would give any creator oh, that. Poor Chico, I know his mommy. Ah. Great. Can you let her know Chico is looking for her? That's the problem, honey. She's gone. She's gone. Gone? You mean? Nay, she just skipped down. Poor Chico, she must have forgotten him. <laughs> what? <laughs> we okay, squirrels forget. are very forgetful, you know? I'm sure that... I can take care of another baby. You know, that is true. Where did you say Chico was? Squirrels are forgetful. Oh, I'll dance for you. Honey, I'm a squirrel. Just give me the directions. <laughs> okay, He's over well, there. Listen up. All right, so we found that Chico, Chico in trouble. We got we even got a trophy uh, for that. As I was saying, there's another quest. Um, this is just, just advice. Um, you need to do what you want to do, but I would just say, go and do what you enjoy the most. 
make sure you get your your mental rewards get your dopamine get your serotonin um, and don't worry about it the thing is you can never please everyone there's always a group that will stumble upon you even though you're like yeah but I'm not aiming for them they will stumble upon you and they will have a negative vibe and it's not because they're bad people it's just because they are looking for something they don't know what they're looking for they stumble upon you and then they realize that's not it which is okay but if you spend so much energy on everything that you're making and you didn't you don't get anything in return um, my advice is don't do that just do what rewards you go and aim for that reward and then if you get any positive vibes externally from that that's just a win that's an extra but that should not be your goal you went back to easy editing yeah you don't give any <laughs> fucks about other people's negative opinions oh no i'm not even talking about the, their opinions i'm just talking about i don't want to do that right now i guess let's go talk to alice Let's do that. Let's head there and then have a little chat. I'm I'm talking about expectations that you put up for yourself and that that cannot be reached. And and um, spending too much energy. Can I not fly through there? Or? On something that doesn't give you energy back is uh, that's draining. You just want to upload game content from Crazy Back. <laughs> yes, same here. Which is why I'm playing B Simulator. You didn't expect anything from the last video, you just found it fun to do. You know what? I want to check that out. I want to check out your channel. And I want to check Hi. out oh, that video. Wrong? You look sad. I'm fed up with pollen. I wanted to help in the search for a new hive. But the queen won't let me. You must be so upset. But I know just what will cheer you up. Well, milkshake? A bu a and watch out for that wind. A burger? I could go for a burger. You're my Discord now. Also drop you a follow, by the way. Alrighty then. Well, I, I don't have any notification. Well, I see uh, that there's a notification on my phone. Checked it out in a bit. Uh, because, yeah, no, I, I, I like to support where I can. And uh, don't expect me to watch everything. <laughs> As I'm not ex uh, expecting others to watch everything that I make, but no, I do want to support other content creators and, you know, just hang out, talk about stuff like this we're talking about. But, uh, give them a little bit more. Oh, there's the... Uh, oh, look at that. You know, it's... It's... Um, I'm, I'm looking for the right word. Oh, well, that's... He just yeah, flew into the right, wrong area. Me. And now you're gonna get it. You show her my apprentice. Beat Steven and Emily to escape from here. This is uh okay, here we go. My <laughs> my special power. <laughs> what I was saying is that that it can be contagious to um to share motivation and, and share positive vibes and uh, share games that you enjoy. Just basically all those nice things and and uh, support other people that way. Because you introduced me to Shelter. I have never heard of Shelter. I'm going to look that up. Definitely. Um, because you got me excited for that. And that's that's what I like about that that I hate the social community part of being a content creator. I I hate the expectation that that will be set up by yourself but also by others. Like people expect you if if they join you because you play a certain game or if you do something they like, they expect you to milk that for their pleasure and 
they also expect you to be their friend because somehow, some way, I don't know why, but I mean, I'm a stranger on the internet, but they kind of relate to me in some way because they enjoy what they're seeing, and then they're like, hey, uh. You're my friend now, and I expect you to be friendly to me and spend time, and I don't know. So I hate that aspect of it. I hate... Escape from the barnyard, okay. Well, done. I hate the aspect of... Fighting to be seen. You're 100% my friend now, <laughs> but true. <laughs> Your entire channel is mostly completely filled with games you probably never see. Well, I'm I'm all about the obscure stuff, so oh dear. This is the amusement park. I, I didn't mean to disobey orders. I do want to check that out. But since I'm here anyway, I'm sure it won't hurt to check this place out. But what I do like the 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 community part is that sting interactions. What the fuck? You can interact with the environment, for example, sting the balloon? Yeah, I I already did that. I like this music, though. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, I got a blackout. I got distracted by... Ooh, fun slide. By this amusement park. I'm gonna sting stuff in a bit. Um, no, what I do like, the, the community part, is just sharing with like-minded people. I think that's exactly what what motivates me um, get people excited and enthusiastic about stuff that makes me excited and enthusiastic something about the internet the internet is a bad place man I don't want to sting you but the game wants me to come here Mwah! just gave you a little kiss not everywhere well, you're right, Nada. There are some good spots, but... Every time I find a good spot... Um, there will be a few rotten apples in there. Which makes sense, and I shouldn't, you know, judge a book by its cover and everything, but... I don't get it why... Some... People like to ruin... That's also real life. That you're not, you're not wrong. Uh, I just don't get it why people enjoy ruining fun for others. And let's be honest, everybody's entitled to have their own nice. opinion. But it's too loud and moves too fast. Oh, this is not. For a better place. Yeah, this is not a good place for a beehive. There will always be all rotten apples. You're absolutely right. Um, Which is a shame. Can I sting you, bird? Buongiorno. I'm a bee. <laughs> Carefully, my Ditas. Why bother even thinking about why they do it? You just do it. Well, you're, you know what? That is some solid wisdom. This place is so loud. And there are so many humans. I better look for something else. I think we're, we need to look for a tree or something. Look for a different place. Uh, but, yeah, no, I do enjoy... You're not going to even spend energy on it. Yes. I completely agree. I agree. I. Uh, but I also, sometimes, I cannot hey, ignore what it. What is your business here? Scott Payton? What? Oh, did I just get... Alright. I see a red thing there. I see a red thing there. Uh, what, what I... I... Uh, stumble words. Um... What is it, hmm? A bee looking for trouble? <laughs> <laughs> when you're forced into it like a morning in my job that I can't get around. Well, yes. Indeed you have, little Or bit. when bullying happens. Uh, stuff like that. Or when injustice happens. I cannot stand injustice. 
Um, but no, I do like to, you know, spend time with like-minded people and, and, uh, talk about stuff that makes me happy and laugh and share that and not put too much weight on myself and, and, uh, negative things. Like, you know, you only live once, better enjoy it. And uh, people should just not be insulted. It's not like I'm insulting people, but nowadays nobody can take a joke anymore. And I'm not talking about jokes that are on the edge, just simple jokes. Even jokes that, that are about me. Like I make a joke about myself and people are like, oh, you can't say that. Why not? It's about me. I'm not harming anyone but myself, and I choose to do that. Well, it's not harming me, it's just making fun of myself, but... People are so sensitive nowadays. Depends on the... Like I said, I'm not talking about jokes that are on the edge, that... that uh, I'm not talking about those where people actually get hurt or get insulted, and then you're like, oh, it's just a prank, bro. No, fuck that, that's not a joke. A joke is something where both parties can enjoy the joke. Then it's a joke. If one party doesn't enjoy it, it's not a joke and you should freaking apologize, even if you think it was a joke yourself. Um, fair enough. <laughs> but if it's something... Talk to the angry scout bee. Okay, if it's something that... that I saying about myself, no, I mean, there's so many social justice warriors that shouldn't be one. Hey, what is your business here? Like, we have this example of this, and I know it's a kind of a sensitive, sensitive-ish subject. There's so many, many peoples that are, um, you know, cultural appropriation, that thing. And then... Nintendo made Mario wear a sombrero and a poncho and the world went crazy. They're like, you cannot do that! That's racism, it's discrimination! And all the Mexicans were like, fuck that, it's our culture. We love this. And that's what I'm talking about. They enjoy it. I also saw that's someone no wearing... Uh, it was a I white was dude. And, and somehow I got here. So I thought that since I'm here, I might as well look around for a new hive? Unacceptable. You've disobeyed the queen. Each bee must do her job. You get back to gathering pollen right now. If I see you here again, I will report you. I haven't found a place for a new hive. I haven't found I a place for a new hive. A scout. Oh no. So sad. I get some more flowers to make up for it. Yes. You, th you missed that? You're happy you did? <laughs> Would that agitate you or not? Because there's also this... this I, th I think it's a... I don't know if it's a TikTok or not. Um, there's this white dude wearing... A... Classic Chinese outfit. Including the, the straw hat and everything. And he just goes around asking people what they think about his outfit, and everyone is like, you cannot do that. It's racism, it's discrimination, you're white, you're not, you're not allowed to wear that. Then he went to Chinatown, and everyone there said, I'm glad you did, you're, you're, uh, it's our culture, but it looks great on you. And they were all so positive, and he was like, are you offended? And they're like, no, it suits you, It's it looks good, It's I'm glad you do, because it's our culture, and you're, you know, raising awareness that we still exist. Exactly, nowadays everything is racism, even stereotypes, which are not racism, it's just a thing that's, that gets enhanced underneath a lens, a stereotype. The Dutch smoke weed. They all wear wooden clogs. <laughs> no, we don't. But it's a stereotype. And we embrace it. 
the French all wear a beret and they have a mustache and they don't shave and they have a baguette everywhere underneath their eyes. No, they don't, but it's a stereotype. But nowadays, that's the same as racism. Apparently, even though that's it's not a race, it's a nationality. I am Dutch. Yes, I am. At least, last time I checked on my, uh, on my passport, I was. Couldn't you tell by the accent? <laughs> there you go. No. Well, I heard something was wrong, but it sounded Scandinavian to me. I've heard that before. You sounded British. Well, I can. I, I, I can talk British if you want me to. <laughs> I think I have enough for flowers. <laughs> Time to British. go back to the hive. Really? Time to get back to the hive. Talk with the bully bee. Well, I know that I, I have some sort of accent, but it's mostly uh, an indistinguishable. Bully bee? Why is this bee getting bullied? Hey, can you help You're me? also Dutch. <laughs> no way. Our That's why you A woke human? up that time. How you rude. slept in. Well, I'll chase him away. Thanks. The thing is, the duchies are everywhere. Doesn't matter where you go. If you go on a holiday or vacation, there's always a Dutch person there. Or there's been a Dutch person that did something there uh, of meaning. You have no school. Lucky you. Lucky you. But it isn't it isn't vacation time or anything. It's not a national holiday. We just had that last Monday. Bingster. Nice. School just closed? Do you have a study day or something? Because there's plenty of study days going on as well. And for those that don't know, study days are... Uh, there's days where teachers get a day off. If exams this year, they're over just free. Oh, lucky you! Is your last year? Oh, yeah, that means, like, May. Because it's May right now, people on YouTube are like, What the fuck, man, it's September. Uh, <laughs> no, it's May. Oh, I remember that when I did my exams. Um, the bully's trying to destroy your flowers. Sting him twice to scare him away. <gasps> Wait, I need to sting the bully. Are you the bully? You are. Run and never come back. Oh, that was easy. Not the bully, it is the bully. Which is also a fun game that I never played. Made by Rockstar. Um No, I remember when I did my accents, uh and and uh I passed and I suddenly had five months off or something. That was a good summer. You're gonna take, uh, yeah, between year. What are you gonna do in that year? Is it just like... You're... You're like, fuck it. I'm gonna do nothing. Or do, do you travel? Is there some charity work that you wanna do? Because that sometimes happens. People decide to do some charity work. 